Okay, hello everyone. Today we are going to look at trigonometric ratio of acute angles, and this will be from secondary to mathematics. So, what are the learning objectives for this topic? The first objective will be to understand the concept of trigonometric ratios of sine, cosine, and tangent. Use trigonometric ratios to find the unknown length in a right angle triangle as well as to find the unknown angles in a right angle triangle. The last objective will be to apply these trigonometric ratios to solve practical problems as well as problems in questions paper based on real life scenarios. So what have we learned so far? We have learned about Pythagoras theorem where a square plus b square equals to c square. And Pythagoras theorem is to used to find the length of one side of a right angle triangle given the other two sides. So what if you only know one side and one angle of a right angle triangle? Then you will not be able to use Pythagoras theorem. You got to use trigonometric ratios instead. So for any right angle triangle, we define the trigonometric ratios of sine, cosine and tangent as follows. So given a right angle triangle and we have an unknown angle theta with unknown sides A, B and C, we can name in such a manner. We can name the side A as opposite side to the angle theta. So in short form, O. O stands for opposite. And B, the side B, will be the adjacent side to the angle theta. So it will be A. And lastly, the hypotenuse H will always be the longest diagonal line in the right angle triangle. So the hypotenuse will always be the longest diagonal line, but the adjacent as well as opposite side may switch if the unknown angle theta is here. If the unknown angle theta is at the top, then side B will be the opposite side and side A will be the adjacent side. Okay. Alright, so remember this uh, acronym TWA, CA and SO. So TWA CA SO is actually in Hokkien means a big footed woman. So you just remember TWA CA SO. So how do you use TWA CA SO in trigonometric ratio? So TWA means you want to use tangent theta. Okay, tangent theta you can find it on your calculator as well as cosine and sine on your calculator that's a tan cos and sine tangent theta will be equals to the opposite side out of the adjacent side so to use tangent theta you must use opposite out of adjacent what about cosine theta cosine theta you need to use adjacent out of hypotenuse while sine theta you got to use opposite out of hypotenuse okay so got to follow this rule uh, closely okay so before that before we use tangent cosine and sine let's do practice one so find the values of each of the following giving the answer correct to four significant figures so we have five questions for you to try so you just need to click on your calculator tangent 48 then question 2 will be sine 56 followed by cosine 65 sine 87.2 and cosine 12.8 okay, so you should get these answers All right so I leave it as 4 that in 4 uh, significant figures okay. next okay practice 2 how do you find the angle theta in each of the following? Give your answer in degree correct to one decimal place. So we have sine theta equals to 0 0.25, cosine theta equals to 0 0.4, and tangent theta equals to 0 0.785. So you got to use to find theta, you got to use sine inverse 0 0.25. Okay. Cosine theta equals to 0 0.4, you use cosine inverse. And lastly, tangent inverse. So you got to use your second function on your calculator. 
Maybe to, to activate the sine inverse, cosine inverse, and tangent inverse. Okay, you should get the following answers. Alright, next. Okay, find unknown sides of a right angle triangle. So find the value of the unknown in each of the following. So we have A, B, and C. Uh, triangle A, B, C. We have X as the unknown side. The angle will be 40 degrees. And the hypothesis will be 15 centimeters. So first, you need to label the sides. So we have H for hypotenuse. O for opposite side and A for the adjacent side. So we see that we want to find X and we know uh, H. So O and H. So for O and H, we got to use sine theta equals to opposite out of hypotenuse. So sine 40 degree is equal to opposite is X out of 15. So X is equal to 15 sine 40. And this is equal to 9.64 centimeters, correct to three significant figures. Okay, next part B. Now we have triangle XYZ. It is a right angle triangle. Okay, so the angle is 58 degree. The side is A, and hypotenuse will be 18 centimeters. So label the sides first. Adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. So we want to find A. We use A, A, adjacent, and hypotenuse. So we need to use cosine theta is equals to adjacent out of hypotenuse. So cosine 58 is equals to A out of 18. So A is equals to 18 cosine 58, and this is equals to 9.54 centimeters. Okay, C. We have triangle PQR. Angle will be 62 degree. So right angle triangle. Y, unknown side. We're gonna find and 20 centimeters. So H, A, and O. So now it's O and A. So O and A will be Tua Kaso Tua. Tangent theta is equals to opposite out of hypotenuse so tangent 62 will be equals to y out of 20 so y is equals to 20 multiplied by 20 tangent theta tangent 62 20 times tangent 62 you get 37.6 centimeters okay next so try these practices a, B, C, D. See if you can get the answers. So remember to label the sides. So these are the answers. I think early on the for part A and B the angle wasn't shown so now uh, I've adjusted it so can you try and see if you can get the answers the following answers with the measurements given All right okay next okay practice two okay this is a word problem based on uh, the use of trigonometric ratio so the diagram shows a quadrilateral A, B, C, D and A, B is equal to 165 meters Angle A, B, D is equal to 28 degrees Angle B, C, E is equal to 50 degrees and Angle A, D, B is equal to Angle B, E, C and this is 90 degrees So E is a point on D, C such that B, E is equal to 77 meters so find the area of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D and part B, the parameter of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D okay, So first, for part A, sine 28 is equal to A, D out of 
0.4628. So you find AD, AD is 77.4628 meters. Next, you find BD. So BD is equal to 165 cos 28 degree. And you get 145.686. Okay, next, you find the area of ABD. So ABD is equals to 5,642.6227 square meters. So you already know angle ABD. Next, you can find the other area. So you can you already found the area of ABD. Next, you find the, the other area. So you find EC first. The leg of EC is equals to Tangent 50 degree is equal to 77 out of EC. So EC is equal to 77 out of tangent 50. And this is 64.61. Then you find area of BEC. So BEC is half times 77 times 64.61. And this is equal to 2487.485 square meters. Next, you find DE. How to find DE? You use Pythagoras theorem. Okay, BD square because you already know BD. BD square is equals to BE square plus DE square. So DE is equals to 123.6746 meters. Okay, then lastly you can find area of BED. So BED is equals to 4761.47421 square meters. So once you already find the area of the three triangles, you add them together, you can find the area of the quadrilateral ABCD. You get 12,900 square meters in three significant figures. Okay, now you need to find the perimeter. So you already know the length of BA, AB. The A, B, you already know A, D, you already know D, E, and E, C. So you are left with the length of B, C. So B, C is sine 50 degree is equal to 77 out of B, C. So B, C is equal to 100.5164 meters. And you add all the sides together. And you get 531 meters. Correct to 3 significant figures. So you got to do one at a time. Make sure you store the memory for the measurement and then at the end then you correct to trace in the figure okay so this is a simple flow chart so let's start from here okay, is it a right angle triangle so when you see a triangle you check whether is it a right angle triangle so if it's a right angle triangle are the two lengths of two sides given so if it's given and you are not trying to find the angle you're just find, trying to find the side then you use Pythagoras theorem if you are trying to find the sides with two sides given if you are, if the two sides are not given then you know one side and one angle then you want to find the other side one more side you use the trigonometry okay trigonometry the ratio to two castle okay what if this is not a right angle triangle okay, then you can't use Pythagoras theorem or uh, trigonometric ratio in later on you will learn about the sine rule and the cosine rule where you can find the length of one side of a triangle if it's not a right angle triangle or you can also find the angle of a triangle if it's not a right angle triangle using the sine cosine rule okay I'll not talk about this next time when you learn about this uh, in another video, I'll talk more about this topic. So, almost towards the end, okay, just talk about the story of trigonometry. So, the development of trigonometry starts from when they are trying to find positions of stars based on uh, astronomical calculation. So, basically, tangent means touching in Latin, sine means the bay in a stretched bow, and cosine means the complement of sine so it's just a simple just to know more about tangent sine and cosine okay so what have we covered we just covered two of the learning objectives in this topic 
the concept of trigonometric ratio as well as to find the unknown length. Right in another video, I'll continue on the unknown angles and how to use trigonometric ratio to solve practical problems as well as questions in your exam paper. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.